August 8, 2018 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. Uh, this meeting is being broadcast live for those lucky people that are inclined to watch it. It's also being recorded for further viewing, uh, which can be done at the town website, arbonguide.com. Before we begin, I'm required to ask if anyone in the audience is making a recording of this meeting. There are people shaking their heads, saying no, so I'm assuming that no one's doing that. First item on tonight's agenda is 7 o'clock public hearing. Umar arrest you for a request for determination to convert an existing deck into a four season room at 44 Riverside Drive in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? I'll second that. And any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. No one's here for Mr. Oh, Arrest. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, I, know, you was at you. I didn't know. Have you been on vacation? <laughs> I love the protocol, to be honest. Come on, right. Right. All right, yeah. Can you just uh, identify yourself, please? Uh, my name is Kevin White. Kevin I'm White. from the general contractor speaking in part of Umar, who's active duty, who couldn't be here. Right. So I'm here for him. Okay. So. We actually, um, several of us went out to the property okay. a few weeks ago to actually talk to his children, and uh, they were allowed us access to the property. And um, why don't you just tell us what you plan to do, whether you're going to shore up the existing deck to support the... Right, so currently there's a, a deck there where there's five footings that are eight feet off the house, mm -hmm. which is totally, you know, supportive for the deck. Mm -hmm. And our plan is to add a 12 by 12 four season sunroom on top of the existing structure. But our point loads would be past that beam. Okay. So our plan is to put five or six techno posts at the 12 foot mark, which is at the very outset of the deck. Mm -hmm. yep. And the reason I'm here is because th he does live on a lake. Yep. It's 21 feet from the closest, and I have a schematic with you know, where the water is. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing that I've sat in these before, and it's erosion. You know, if we were digging holes by hand, we might have problems with erosion, but it being techno posts, they're just helical piers you know, hydraulically pushed into the ground with pressure readings. So with those piers, with the existing footings, there'll be more than enough support, and the fact that they are going to be techno, we're not digging, there won't be a, you know, erosion won't be an issue. Okay. But the fact that the water is so close, I feel like that's why well, right. it's an issue, that obviously. Exactly. And, you know, silt fence and stuff, I th we've done that before, but I think, I, I think it's fine, the fact that we're using techno posts, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's a gutter system developed, it's going to be diverted away from the room. It won't be towards the footings. Um, so oh, basically, yeah. How right. deep are you going? Uh, seven feet is standard. Seven feet down? We can go further, too, yeah. Okay, so what do you do with <coughs> the material that you're going to displace when you put these posts in? Yeah. It doesn't displace <coughs> any, really. The technical post, it's almost an auger drills right down. Okay. Yeah, there's no... There must be some disturbance. There is stuff. some, but it's not much. I mean, if you, I don't know if you've ever seen it before. And I have some technical post literature oh, if you want to see it. it. It's yeah, it's really just hydraulic right down, mm -hmm. and it just pushes it out of the way as it drills down. <coughs> it's just a three-inch diameter post that goes down seven. I've gone down 12, mm -hmm. because almost like uh, when somebody did a retaining wall, it was loose rubble. So they went down, seven didn't do it, we went 12 and it was very, very pressurized. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty cool system and the fact that you're not digging, there, there really is no erosion because it's just a, a fully How pressurized, the, the hydraulic machine, it's actually amazing. It's uh, it, it can fit through a, a fence, they designed it so it can get kind of anywhere, so it's three feet wide. And it looks like an auger and it's just a big pressurized machine that comes down and just drills as far down. So it's, I don't know, it's like two feet wide by three feet high. It's just a hydraulic machine with a pump. Okay. Almost like an auger. Yeah. How long will it take you to set the posts? Um, they, I mean... A day? Less than that. Yeah, I mean, they can. we can build on the same day. They show up at 6 a.m. They can do six techno posts, and then we send the pressurized readings to the town hall, and they verify it, and we can start building the deck to an hour after they set the post. So it's pretty, it's pretty mar remarkable, really. And I don't have to dig them, so I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and the pressure readings are numerical, so you, you know people can just see them, and it is what it is. You know, so mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt. But that's okay. Would there be any concern of any aquifers down there because you're going down so deep? How deep did you say you were going? Down? Uh, seven. But I mean, we we'll do a, a plot. You know, we'll do a survey and make sure dig safe comes in. There's no lines or whatever, so okay. it should be fine. And we and we can you know have a plot in schematically where you know if there is a uh, what's it called the what's it called the uh, the plumbing when people. Well. We don't want to dig through their septic tank, septic you know, you know, you know right. all that stuff. Yeah, and we, we, we can do dig safe and make sure that it's not going to be. Right. And the fact that there are five footings 
four feet away from where we're going to be going, it, it will be fine. I know we will. It's just, it, it's so close to the water. I understand that, sure. you know, when you're digging footings and... Since you're down yeah. there. So and the stru you know, the structure, there's going to be 12 to 15 footings for this deck. So the, the weight's nothing. It's just the water being so yep. close. That's the thing. So what you mentioned, uh, that's the name of the instrument? That yeah, technical post. Technical yeah, it's a proprietary. Do you yeah. have a literature? I'd just take, like, take yeah, a look at it. Sure. Okay. Sure. I mean, this is actually, like, uh, just their drawing uh, okay. cool. of, like, the pier. Oh, yeah. And then what they do is they once Thank they you. drill it in, there's a there's a hole at the top they drill in, and they put their hardware right on top, so we can set our six by six post just right, right on top of it. And then you know. Okay. Uh, twenty one feet, and um, we'll probably do the same that is there, probably five, mm -hmm. because our point loads for the room is the center post and the corner posts. It's a studio roof. So there's no point loads on the sides, a, you know, A and C wall. It's, you know, all the point loads are on the end. So we'll do one in the middle, two on the outside. So three probably would be more than enough. When mm -hmm. was the house built? Just place when was it built? Ah, yeah. uh, oh, okay. not being the homeowner, I'm not too sure. Okay. The deck looks pretty new. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The yeah, and those. I've got their card right here. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find the. It doesn't look really old if that, that doesn't help you. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, just it's very close. Um, 1994. It's like somebody bought a truck. Uh -huh. <laughs> Does that really tell the truth? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's pretty good. And then the bank took it. Are they do it in Hawaii? How long have they owned it? <laughs> they, they, these people have owned it since 13. Say again? 2013, they bought it when they purchased Uma. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You think it was built in 95, or is that just... Uh, well, 94, yeah, it shows a, a sale date, and it looks like the house was there, so... Yeah, I think it was built yeah. before that. So that's a change of, yeah. In any event. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I understand you're extolling the virtues of these um, these posts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would um, normally want to have a sill fence in place. You know, yeah. just, oh, you yeah. know, rather err on the side of caution. You know, if that's... That's what we have to do. That's fine. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll do that. I mean, I know it, it'll, you know, we'll just do it. Preventative. I'm all, I'm all for it. Yeah. When would you start? Um, well, we were going to wait to see what happened here. Right. Um, we have all the schematics. We haven't ordered the room yet. Okay. That's usually two to four weeks. I would say four to six weeks. Safe to say. Okay. okay. So there's no, like, exposed areas of ground that you're... No, I mean, like the deck right now is so structurally sound, and like I said, we'd be four feet off, and there's plenty of room right there. You're not like disturbing ground surface to get. No, filled. no, we would just drill right through their backyard, and like I said, our, you know, I don't, I don't have the schematic. Oh, right here, you know, I actually took a, a schematic, and one of our, one of our posts is the closest point is 21 feet. The farthest one is actually 28. So some of them are, you know, it's, it, it's on a, uh, an angle that it's not. They're not all 20 feet away. Some of them, this one's 28 feet. So that one post would be, you know, 28 feet away from the water. I don't think the water's gonna come up 30 feet. Even if it did, it wouldn't be an issue, but I don't think it will. So it's one or two posts that, like I said, there's no erosion anyway. So if we do the silt fence, I know it's, all right. it, would be, it would be okay. Okay, any comments from the board? So this deck right now, it loops all the way to that corner. Right, right, in the water, yep, right there. Okay. So, it's so that one so post here would be close to the water. This one's a good 35 feet. So you're just putting a room right on top. Room will be right on the existing. Ready made room, is that what it Yeah, it's like a kit base. Yeah, I mean all the aluminum extrusions come in uh, 18 foot length, so we do cut it to size, but it's a kit in, in the sense of that they're all built similarly. Okay. But it's not like it shows up in a kit, you put it together. We do cut it to size and build okay. dormers and have LVLs and so it's really an addition, a room, but it's they're all similar construction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. And there's HVAC in it and stuff, so we'll go Get the electrical inspector and everything, and okay. yeah. Any comments from the audience? Okay. Um, if there are no other comments or questions, is there a motion to close? Make a motion to close a public hearing. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed the vote. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's okay. Nobody did anything. All right. So what happens is they'll probably make a decision this evening. Okay. You want to call the office tomorrow? All right. Um, Thank you.
Actually, you didn't know what to do when you came here because you knew it was online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I had just an education myself, too, and I'm sorry I didn't, uh, when you, you called me up, I was just saying. <laughs> 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 All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here you go. All right, take Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. You've got your application from the building department, I hope? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck. Everybody else. <laughs> Good night. The next item on tonight's agenda is a 7 o'clock public hearing for Robert Lemansky of uh, the Lair Realty Trust. Request for termination for repairs to existing stormwater drainage uh, at 693 Southbridge Street. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Okay, discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Close the vote. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, Chris McClure, McClure Engineering, and I'm here with uh, Robert Lemansky. Um, Regarding the property at 693 Southbridge Street, uh, we were we, we came before the commission probably over a month ago uh, to discuss a project uh, regarding maintenance for existing uh, catch basin and um, this issue with uh, the draining of the basin and uh, potential block pipe. So um, the, the board uh, requested that we file an, um, an RDA and with supporting documentation, which we have uh, submitted to folks. Um, we also submitted the environmental uh, report that was done in this phase two as part of the property purchase as well. So um, if you had a chance to read through that, uh, uh, interesting read there. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so we, we'd like to, you know, uh, request that uh, Mr. Domanski is allowed to, to do some maintenance on that catch basin drain to get it back into operation. And due to the um, weather that we have this, this summer, um, if you've been by the site, you'd see that um, there is a, there's a big puddle, and it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't get the opportunity to drain that often. And actually, it almost gets to the point where it does um, start to um, affect the street level as well. So I understand. Um, we did have a wetland scientist go out to the site. We, we submitted the report um, at, um, as well, just so we were clear on that delineation of the wetland and back. And, um, Um, did I miss the phase two? You said you sent that. We did send it along. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I didn't include it as part of this packet. Right. We didn't email it because it was so much such a lot of document. Right. Can you tell me when you um, is the plan isn't dated? Do you know when this was done? Um, the ortho was developed um, as part of this package here. So uh, 7 11 2018. Is that the one you're looking at? Yeah. yeah July 11th. Yep. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Sure. <coughs> and then so, Mr. Lemansky, what would you? No. So, Mr. Lemansky, the plan would be to get in there as uh, soon as possible, basically? Uh, yes, because I've got a tenant who's uh, in the 5,000 square foot area, that the new drugstore. They're planning on opening, uh, I think, the first week in September. So okay. I, I need to asphalt the driveway. Mm -hmm. So before asphalting, I want to get this drain squared away. So we have to dig it up again. Okay. So that's our, our goal. All right. Any idea how long it will take for the work to be done? Um, I, I don't see that more than uh, than, than a two-day job. Okay. All right. Of course, Perfect. my son tells me that your dad you're always underestimate. But uh, <laughs> uh, again, it, it's. Uh, you know, the dig is uh, maybe 140 feet, 160 no, no, feet tops. Okay. okay. So, that's, again, if we find the pipe and we can unclog it, then we're going to use the same pipe. Sure. Are right. you putting a line on one end? Did they do that at all? Um, that's like in situ form in childhood. That's what they do. They, they oh. put a liner on the yeah. pipe. But uh, because, because when we had the, uh, it was Helgeson, when he came, and started to uh, clean up the pipe, and then he tried to rotor root the pipe. He oh. got to a distance right about here, which is yeah. about 80 feet, and then it stopped. It, well, he hit something, and he just didn't want to lose his his uh, his Jetta, because the jet has water that goes this way, then the two that come back, and he was afraid because he felt, he felt that the pipe was not, you know, might might have been one of those old Orangeburg pipes and the jetter would go through the pipe and then he couldn't pull it back and he'd lose it. So yeah, sure. that's when he, he, he quit on me. But and again, it was a smart, he had no other choice because of the equipment. Okay. But he did line out and said, look, it's about even with the building, that's where it stopped. He says, that's where the blockage is. So, and this is the same area to where when 
this used to be a Shell gas station. When they when they had spill there, they put those uh, those site wells all over the place. And I'm, I'm thinking we even have them on our property, even all the way on the other side of the property. I'm thinking one of those site wells may have gone through through the pipe and compromised it. So I guess you'll find out. We'll we'll find out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. So. I have no other questions. Any questions from the board? No. no. Did, did you say something was planning to go in there? Did you have what was planning to go in there? Or oh, well, what we, would it be used for? We, we, we have two buildings on the property. One used to be the former Taylor rental that's right. now being leased out to uh, okay. Cabinet Resources. Yep. And the other build, building uh, that's being leased out to um, yeah, sure. three, three, three young pe people. They're, they're, they're all pharmacists. Yeah. They're going to open a oh. private pharmacy. It's okay. going to be called uh, Auburn Apothecary. Really? It, yes, and it was two weeks ago today they got their final approval from uh, the, the Massachusetts Pharmacy Board because the Pharmacy Board yeah. has got to come in, okay. inspect the whole sure. thing, and, and all great. that. So, sure. Uh, they're excited. Yeah. They're excited. That was That's awesome. with Kent Wells. Kent Wells. Exactly. Yeah. Kent Wells. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Um, right. Forgive me for not reading the report. Mm -hmm. I didn't grab it, but did it no further action? Final conclusions? No, the um, that was done as part of the property transfer. Are oh, you talking about the, the site? Yeah, the, the, the environmental. Yeah. Did they test groundwater? And but, but yes, they they, yeah. they did did all that. We ended up getting getting um, uh, CMG out of Sturbridge came out and did the um, the final report to where they submitted to the DEP. Okay. And of course, it never goes away. But right. what it does is it it, it gets moved in, into a non-action uh, column and okay. and they, they tell me I'm all set. Do you have plans to decommission the wells because it may be better to remove the, that as like a point source where you know contaminated? Um, the, the wells that they put put in the the two that are on my property. I know one of them is already collapsed. Right. But the the, the wells are just uh, they were holes. Just I yeah. think four, four inch holes and put a cap on. Helps to just seal them. If you don't okay. need them anymore. Yeah. But be, make sure you don't need them, need them anymore. I guess. Okay. Right. Yeah, because right. the the um, action. Um, the, Cleaned up in a monitoring action was was due to the adjacent property. Right. So um, they are the ones that pay to put them in, and that right. they're almost the ones that control that. Um, so unfortunately for the property adjacent, right. You know, the once bank they're done, I highly recommend decommissioning. Sure. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any Thank questions? You. Thank you. Hold on. Any questions from the audience? Apparently not. All right. No, sure. no. Is there a motion to close? Make a motion that we close the hearing for 693 Felt Street. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She didn't give us anything, did she? <laughs> she I mean, I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, the application was filed in uh, July 11th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see right there. Oh, I, thank you. Oh, okay. I forgot all about it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
continue. We had to do a site visit. We did, we did yeah. do a site visit, yeah. and she was supposed to delineate um, mm -hmm. the well end for us, or at least show us where the fences were supposed to go up. Okay. We don't um, even know if there's possibly a person back up. Right. I, think, I, I think she said at the last meeting that that wasn't happening. That, that, that it was not going to be sold. That's a possibility, but. Uh, All right, so therefore, the, she's not coming. The other coming. thing is, yeah, because it's still on the it's still on the agenda as a to fill in the wetland. Well, I'm sorry, what? It's still in the it's still on the agenda is to fill in the wetland. So Filling what property? Yeah. Yeah. Allow possible, possible future filling okay. of the well, property. That's not going to happen. Okay. All right. No, she's okay. not on the next. Um, no. Next. When we met with her. Um, she, and apparently because there was a pending sale, or she thought there was a pending sale, the, the, the discussion related to putting up a fence or where a fence right. would be. Right. Yeah. They wanted, they wanted, wanted the fence. No filling. Okay. No All right. filling. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, so that's what, that's here, what she first here. came in asking for. That's why that came up okay. on that. And you've never heard nothing from her. So no. It's a possibility that it's bad. Yeah. No, we have the RDA. Yeah. 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 You missed that Saturday. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the RDA doing it. Michelle had fun. Michelle had fun. She had to walk away. She did a lot of exercise. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, the RDA was on filed on June 21st. But apparently she's not going to press it, so we're not going to okay. address it. Yeah, it's over. And um, it's now 20 past so 7. So do you want to do anything with that? Continue it? or? You know what? Let her if, if she wants yeah. to yeah. come back yeah. before us. Yeah. Uh, she will. Yeah. Okay. I, but she's not here. She didn't request for a continuance, so I think yeah. we just we let it pass, as they say. Okay. We and, won't close uh, the hearing. Then we'll just. There's nothing to right? close. She didn't make a yeah. really she, a full she, presentation. She had the initial hearing. We said we were going to do a site walk. We did that. Yeah. She was instructed to do certain things. Basically, give us a diagram yeah. of the backyard, show us where the fence was. Now apparently the sale has fallen through, yeah. so apparently there's nothing for us to consider now. No. Okay. Yeah. And we don't, you know, we don't deal or um, we're not going to request or deal with or address notice of intent or request for determination unless the applicant's here to, to okay. the case. Okay. Sure. Okay. Speaking of which, um, it's now I've got about 22 past seven. Um, the next item on the agenda is a 715 public hearing for Massett family. Now, did we receive a, um, a no, continuance? No, we didn't. Um, I'm sorry, yes, Joe sir. Joe Simon. I'm here for that one. Oh, you are? At least oh, present it, and I'm oh, going to be requesting a continuance anyways, but I'd like to show okay. you present right, what, what we have and where we're at. All right, okay. All right, the next, I next item on our agenda is 715 public hearing, Massive Family LLC, and no some intent for the construction of a parking lot with underground infiltration in an uh, above ground four bay with a detention pond on a property located. A 2428 and 30 Faith Avenue. Is there a motion open? So moved. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed the vote. Good evening. Can you identify yourself, please? Yep. My name is Zachary Gless. I'm from existing grade. I'm the uh, the engineer for the site. Okay. And as I said before, I'm going to be requesting a continuance just because I have not received their review engineer comments yet, but I at least wanted to introduce myself because I know I'll be coming back okay. again and okay. at least discuss what we're doing real quick to see if anybody has any and preliminary comments that I can address before the next meeting. Okay. Um, so as I know, most of you know, there's been a lot of work going on up there. The site has already been cleared out. The structures on the site have been removed and the driveways have been taken out. So it is just a clear vacant site right now. Okay. Um, and then what we are proposing to do is, I had actually made a quick change, I believe, probably from the plans that you guys have received already. Um, I made a the overall layout of the parking lot is the same, but I have revised it to be more of a vehicle storage lot so that I'm stacking them five deep in the middle as opposed to having a travel way through the middle just to try and get, get a few more um, vehicles out there. Mm -hmm. um, and again, what we're proposing to do is just, um, here's Faith Avenue right up here. Here's where this revised, the, the new roadway is going to be going. So we do have a big replication area going in here, which I'm sure you're all quite aware of. Um, we got the existing wetland line in the rear of the site. This whole site's going to be grading away from the wetlands. I have the 25-foot no disturb line out here, and I'm, I'm not encroaching on that anywhere on the site. Um, you know, I have my straw wattle and silt fence surrounding this entire perimeter of the work that's going on. Mm -hmm. The site's going to be going down to a storm scepter, which will be feeding into a big underground infiltration unit. 
And then from there, I'm going to have two outlets, one that goes in just a little four bay to try and gather some more storage area. And then I have a main pond in what would be the northeast corner of the site, kind of up where this road's going to be curving around. Route 20 is, is way south down here. Yeah. Yeah, so on the, I, I don't know, make it difficult to see, but on the local map, here's Faith Avenue, Route 20, and then we got um, the, the ramps up here on the north side. Replication areas from which part? Where are we taking this? This replication is, it was designed by Waterman when they did the, um, the relocation of Faith Avenue. I believe they filled in some wetlands down here and they proposed to replicate them. On this property over here, so my design's been trying to work around those, so I don't have to. So that's existing. It's in the process of being I constructed see, right see. now, but <clears throat> again, unfortunately, with where we're going to be having our exit and entrance to this parking lot, I need two of them for the fire department's um, okay. comments. I'm, I'm trying to do whatever I can to avoid that because it's already been approved. I don't want to go touching anything that's already been permitted and approved. Just sure. stay away from it. Right. Um, How many cars in the park in that lot? The way that I have it now is I have 194. Okay. And that's just all storage. It's not a public right. access mm -hmm. parking lot. It's just sure. for you know more inventory for uh, Diamond Chevrolet. Gotcha. Um, and that's yeah. pretty much all I have at this point for kind of my presentation side of it. I, I am waiting still from the review comments from Graves Engineering, and I'm sure once I get those, I'm going to be doing a couple site modifications that'll be okay. You know, given to everybody else that you can review it again, hopefully before. The next time we're in here. So, and that's my my gonna be my next question. Do you wanna um, put this over to the first meeting in September? Uh, we'll be meet, we're meeting in two more weeks, and on August twenty second. Do you think you're gonna be able to? I'm get hope Graves review and then make your uh, changes if you need to. I'm hoping that that can be the case. I know that they are in the process of reviewing it right now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not one hundred percent sure if I'm gonna be able to make that, but at, at this point, I'm gonna do everything I can if I get those review comments sooner rather than later to. All right to really fly through this to get in here. So why don't we do this then? Why don't we continue the public hearing to August 22nd? Sure. And then if it appears um, that you need to kick it over again, just I'll let request uh, a continuance. Uh, Ms. Conner yeah. right now. Sure. This question from the board. I'm just going to remind everybody I'm not going to be here on August 22nd. You like doing that, don't I you? I know. I'm just reminding everybody. Going anywhere good? I am. I'm going to be in Scotland. Oh, oh that's hard. Uh, right, that's acceptable. It's grand. Right? <laughs> we'll talk so, about that later. I know. Um, okay, so um, what do we have on for the 22nd? I already kind of got it rescheduled to 7.15. Okay. Right. Kind of got it rescheduled? <laughs> I, 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 I got this tentative agenda going. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, perfect. And again, if anything changes, and I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that, I'll definitely All right. yep. let you know ahead of time. so that we can, can. can we have a motion, please? Make a motion we continue this public hearing to... August 22nd, 2018 at 7.15 p.m. Okay, Eastern sir. Standard Time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> time. Is, there, um, is there a second? I'll second that. Is there a discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close the vote. Thank Perfect. you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hopefully, sir. I'll see you then. All right. Now. Okay. Just not, I wasn't sure what time it was in Scotland, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Speaking video conferencing. Yeah. Yeah. Sure oh yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Skype. Yeah. Well, Skype. Good night. Watching Skype. All right. Okay. Um, before we get to Rochdale Street, um, Ms. Carmer brought to my attention that um, when Mr. Kravoski was here for Six Pioneer Lane, we failed to um, sign the amended bylaw permit. We agreed, we agreed to the change, but we didn't um, sign the permit. So, Sheila, do you have a permit for us to I sign? I think I do, right here. Outstanding. Isn't it amazing? Wow. This, this is it, right? Okay, so this is the 2016-2 wetland oh, permit. Okay. So this is what is needed for signatures. So... What I did with this is I removed the language <laughs> stating that the Quinn report. The Quinn report. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a whole, the same one, just eliminating that and the same Okay. There you go. So it's one of these tones laid out. Okay. Well, just took it over. That's All right. Mm-hmm. 
Um, the last time we were here, although we did not have a meeting, um, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Morris and his uh, wife were present, and um, I just wanted to to explain that after we had gone to the site, we had received a letter from Mr. Uh, Goodman's representative. I think we showed you a copy of that, if I'm if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, I had some um, email communication with uh, Bill Coyle asking him to uh, go out there. Um, and I think the gist of the letter that we received from uh, Scott Morrison was that uh, he did not observe any flooding. Um, or he, he, it seemed that he was trying to, to claim, I want to be careful with my words here, mm -hmm. that the problem with water backing up on the property um, may have been because of a block drain, okay? And that's something that would be within the, um, the control of the, uh, the DPW here in town. And so um, I asked Mr. Coyle to go out there if he had the opportunity. And in fact, um, I, got a, I sent a, uh, an email to him this morning to find out. And he said that he had gone out, in fact, on July 26th, and he said he did not witness any flooding. And he took some photographs um, showing the 12-inch cul uh, culvert under your driveway and also the wooded area next to the driveway. Um, what Mr. Coyle had suggested is that if you have any photos showing flooding in that area that he would like to see them, okay? I will tell you that <clears throat> that uh, Mr. Morrison in his uh, report uh, to to us uh, dated July 24th acknowledged that um, the stream reconstruction uh, was not done as in accordance with the original plan, okay? So there was a deviation. And the shrubs that were there, if there were shrubs installed there, did not take and die, all right? Um, I just want to be very clear, and I, I think you can understand our position too. We are sort of, we're the referee here, the impartial arbiter. Um, we need to consider all the evidence before we can make any further, um, or take any further action. Um, and I don't know what the conditions are, are, are like now. You know, as you know, we've had periods of extensive uh, rainfall, and you know, a lot of quick storms with extensive rainfall. And I don't know what observations you've made concerning whether the, the wooded area next to your driveway has been flooding or whether the culvert is backing up or not. It's not backing up, but the water is stagnant. It just doesn't mm -hmm. move. You know, it just puddles up and just stays there. That never happened before. Okay. It's always flow across this front of this property to the west street. But now it comes straight down and just puddles up right there. Okay. But again, that brook doesn't flow all year round. Like in the spring, it does when you get the flooding yeah. in the spring with the bar and stuff like that. The rest of the year, the summer, they have work between our two properties is dry. But the water down below is always there. It's mm -hmm. never been there before. Now, we got a pond on the other true. side there. Again, you have, that's why I put the culvert in my driveway. But in the case there was one on the But side. is that, is any portion of that property where it's, it's backing up? Is that any portion of that property uh, that you own, or is that strictly on his property? That's all. It's all. Well, it's, it's, it's part of ours. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's part of his and part of ours. Yeah, where the water gets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the trees are dying, it's on our property. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. we, watched, we watched all winter long with that great cold weather that we had. Mm -hmm. It looked like an ice skating rink. Yeah. And I'm going, yeah. How is that happening? It never was you know, the, All right. Just a total ice skating. Yeah. I have no idea right now because all the brush and all the everything is so up. Let me tell you what, these are just my thoughts and I'm more than happy to share them with you and with the commission. Um, we know that uh, what was uh, constructed there doesn't meet what was rep uh, presented to us, okay? So right there, as far as I'm concerned, that may not be a violation, but if he were to come here requesting a certificate of compliance, I can tell you right now, he wouldn't get one, okay? Um, it seems to me that that area, um, so I think remediation probably can be done to maybe reduce that problem. Um, my, so my thoughts are this. I think we can go in one of two directions here. One is to um, maybe ask Ms. Washburn to go back out there and, um, and maybe offer her, us her comments on how to maybe remediate the situation so that it prevents that ponding or that flooding of, of that property. Okay, number one. The other option we have um, is to actually um, refer this to DEP. And I, let me explain to you why we have the ability to find him, all right? 
and, it, and again, I'm speaking only for myself. If I thought finding would accomplish the goal of, of fixing the, uh, the problem, I mean, I might be in favor of it. What DEP can do that we can't do is they can get injunctive relief. They can go into court and they can get a court order. To the, and if, if there's a determination made that, in fact, the problem is being solely caused by the way that stream or channel was installed, then they can order him um, to, um, to change it. I mean, they have the illegal ability to do that to, that we, as a town board, just simply don't have. Um, I would rather know how, how bad the problem is or what it's going to take to fix it, I think, before thinking about going to DEP. That's, again, my, my initial thought. Has the highway department done anything as far as seeing if there's any blockage? Again, Mr. Coyle went there and he said that it was flowing fine. He didn't see any uh, problem with the culvert. So, um, again, uh, I mean, I, you know, I think Mr. Morrison was advocating on behalf of his, uh, his client, and I can appreciate that. But, you know, my goal here is to, or our goal is just to get the problem fixed. Yeah. And I know it's what you want to. Like the water flow used to be, you know, just down. And the fact is, is that, I mean, if, if, if in fact it's flooding your property and you're losing trees, I mean, um, you know, you're suffering, or you can make an argument perhaps that you're suffering some sort of economic harm from that. So, um, lots of mosquitoes. It's just that we'll well, get them. They just came yeah. up last night to spray again. Yeah. Okay. So get some, yeah, get some, I do. I, I, but you I just have like water to be in this. Okay. They can spray that area. So, folks, what do you want to do? Can, can you show me in these like pictures? Really, it was like the chicken coops and all that stuff, too. That was yeah, Are they still there? They should. Are the, are, are the can you show me in these pictures? I'm sorry, what? Building department. Where right. you mean? Can you right. show me in these pictures? Could you guys come on up? Could yeah, you come on up. Come on up, please? So, like, this is the report that we got. Yep. Okay, of his property, right. of the brook, okay? Yep. So this is a meadow. This mm -hmm. is a meadow. Yep. I just want to see where it's in proportion to yours. So this is the this is where they're saying that it goes too straight. From right. that, that it's supposed it's to be meandering. Yeah. So is this your property over here? In front. I yeah. Tell. Yeah. I was going to say we're we're on this side of the. So the chicken coop is on this side over here. So where the cars are. Kind of with that. Oh, wait. Can we do this? Okay, bridge. No, yeah. no, yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Bridge. Well, totally. That bridge that goes over to this is where our property is over this side of it. You know? This would be his like property over here. I actually tried to Google Earth it today to try and And then the other thing is, you can say, like, see right where now. see where the fence is right here? Yeah. The brook originally, when it comes down here, it used to come here and then cut across here. So this is all filled in. He filled yeah, all this in. So that used to go so to this corner. So the brook used to go down this way. This way. Correct. Yeah. And this used to be all dry over in the front. Yep. Well, that's so this is the way that it yep. used to go. It used to go from here and then cut over this oh, way. Oh, here. Right. Up, way up here. Yeah. And then cut. But he just made a straight shot from up here. Yeah. So it was actually you know right about here. The brook came down. He started going over to the corner of that fence there. You know, this way. That was the original no, it brook. Because I mean, I'm just concerned that it's the just chicken groundwater. coop is you know, like there's here. other factors, or there's you know, it's been that three years. So coop. much sediment settled. Right. Isn't this the same picture? Right. See, here's this area. Yeah. I mean, so you, wait, this is like a further. This is a further yeah. shot back yeah. here, you know. Yeah. So see, like the this brook. This is the corner right the here. We're coming okay. between yeah. us right here. So it comes like at an angle here. Yeah, yeah. And then it goes to the right. And that's why there was no problem. It just flowed right to West Street, to Rochester, All right, right so the they're going to, he's being asked so right flow now to, to flow to West Street. I wish to we had some of the original pictures. Okay, yeah, to make it meander. Yeah, the original ones you talked about. Yeah, to get it over there. To, right. to, okay. So it's not straight. Yeah. So, and to put rocks and to put more shrubbery mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it. Yeah. Hopefully it dries up and does stuff like that, so it never. It's hopefully it doesn't nice. get to your yeah, to our side. property. Keeps going so it. Right. So it just. So it does have a chance to actually mm -hmm. absorb into mm -hmm. the ground before it actually gets to yeah. your point, so it doesn't pour. Right. Now just so that's, straight that's straight hopefully what this report is yeah. saying. Okay. You know, like, yeah, we acknowledge the fact that he didn't do it right, mm -hmm. and you know that, yeah. that it's going to get fixed. Right. Uh, and again, it's very deep too. That brook was not that deep before; it was just like on top of the right. surface and, and went that way. And this one is just a channel going straight. But the plants didn't take, the shrubberies didn't take. It didn't. It didn't work out the way it was supposed to. And that they're going to replant. Okay. Is okay. that ever dry? 
channel. Okay. Penn yeah. channel. Oh yeah. When? Right when? now. It would be dry probably now. Oh, you know. I mean, we had a little bit of rain now, but usually during the summer it dries right out. Because when we went out there, it was moving. It's right. Yeah. It was running quite well. But that was like in April or mm -hmm. May or something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's still from the you know the winter. You know, it's still flowing then. But during the summer it dries out pretty good. In between there, so that's why it doesn't even look like much of a brook, brook just a channel. Well, when you get a, a like a, a downpour and then it flows again, then it right? flows again. Yeah. Should be in the fall. Right. All right. I mean, it, it would be real helpful. I mean, if if it's on your property, um, I'll take pictures all day. Well, it's not. <laughs> I have no doubt about that, but my, my question would be, do you have a survey or something that shows the, the lot lines between his property and your property? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And can you maybe provide you that? You must have when, when you put his yeah. building permit yeah. out. I was just going to say, yeah. The, I think so he's got probably the, the most recent one where he has the building permit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's on the other side. That's on the I other see. Side of yeah, that's over towards. I see you remove the structures. No. Well, no. Oh, Not that I can't see. There's a lot of brush. There's a lot of brush. How about the trees? At this point. Yeah, that's up. That's up right near the top of the brook. How about the chicken coops? Still there? No, it's still there. Yeah, I think so. This is killing. Yeah. I know. I just did. Yeah, this is all. Yeah, this is all. Okay. So are we sure? Yeah. Well, I can see it from the house. Yeah. yeah. I can see. I can see this part. It's about because of all the shrubs in between. All right. So what? Okay, what I'd like to do, um, and I'm, I'm certainly open oh, to back. suggestions. We will. Yeah. We will. We I will. But before we do that, um, okay. I don't think that the report from Scott Morrison has been provided to Margaret, has it? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I have something. So my suggestion is that we can, we. Uh, Margaret has done some work on this. She knows the site. That we, we uh, send her out. That's yeah. original. Yeah. Yeah. Scott we send her out there yeah. and just do a, a, a total site assessment, the whole thing, and also suggest um, a remedy. I think what we did is I think that's when we original. retained her, we sent her what uh, Scott Morrison had done originally, his original that's proposed his, yeah. plan. Right. Yeah. She went out there and she said no, it wasn't built the way it was supposed to right. be built. And then yeah. we get this letter right. at the last minute. Yeah. I'd like to send this yeah, letter to her, yeah. but I'd like her to okay. go back to the property and do a, just a full-blown site assessment. Mm -hmm. If she comes out, we, she wants to meet with us too, let us know what she mm -hmm. did, tell us to give us a problem, we can walk her through it too. That'd be great. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. um, There's another culvert that's blocked, you know. Well, that's why I think we need to just, you know, she needs to walk the entire site and, and we need to get a handle on this. Secondly, I think um, um, maybe we send uh, a communication to Caleb Moody indicating that the applicant, um, there are structures on the property that need to be removed and have not been removed. And Caleb can use his authority um, to, uh, to do that, to implement yeah. that. Okay. okay? Yeah. Those are my suggestions. Okay. So is it will there be a motion please? I move to have to talk to Caleb Moody about sending a suggestion to him about having the structures uh, removed. Removed. Yeah. from that uh, part of the property. Uh, I know the property. Uh, uh, with our associate inspector told him. Is it June seventh one, Sheila? The that's the original? No, a couple of years ago. June seventh was from Magway. Yes. From Margaret, it's okay. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Actually, we talked to him about removing the chicken coop because that was too close to the water right, right. in there. It's right know. next to it. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second that motion. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Okay. And then regarding Margaret, is there a motion to uh, retain her yes. to go back to the property? I make a motion that we uh, retain Margaret to go back to the property. And I'll second that. And, and. Okay. And is there any discussion on that? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. All right. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks Aye. for coming in. Okay. Thank Thanks. You. All right. See ya. Good night. Right. Slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. This was the original one. Okay. I thought um, Ms. DeSimone was coming in tonight. No? I did too. I mean, she filed everything. Mm -hmm. But she scheduled she for the 22nd, in to, right? Yeah, just to see. Right. Yeah, yeah. I told her 7 right, 30. So, uh, so I was away on vacation, but I, Tommy received a call. Come in. Come in. Up. I spoke oh. too soon. Oh, that's in here. Come Hi. on in. Hi. Come on in. Are you waiting out there? <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I was just saying, I thought you'd be here for 7.30. Hi. Yeah, we were all just yeah, talking. We oh, she could have just come right in. I should have opened the door. I'm sorry. Sorry. Hi, that's okay. Steve uh, Simone, 11. Hi, how are you? Uh, hi. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. I just have my phone on because the boys are home alone. Is that okay? okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We'll try to make it brief. <laughs> okay. And this okay. is John from the, uh, the pool company. Right. So um, uh, oh, Tom and I. Nice uh, to Went to the property on Saturday, and we um, we met Mrs. De Simone, and we talked to John, and um, so we're trying to figure out. And I think we, at that point we instructed you to go ahead and file the request for termination of applicability because you have to give notice and all that other stuff. You can't get it heard until uh, August 22nd. Um, but my understanding is that you would like to proceed um, sooner rather than later. Is that fair? Based on what the yes, yard looks right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Not just what it looks like, but the. I feel like it will do more damage to wait. I understand, mm -hmm. and I. Um, although I must say that I think the site has been stabilized. The siltation um, erosion control measures are in place. So, um, I was trying to think what mechanism we could use to to do that to basically accomplish your goal, um, while keeping having the formal hearing on the request for determination stay on for the twenty second. And so my thought, and again, I'm more than happy to hear comments from the board, would be for us to actually issue an enforcement order against you. No penalty or anything with the requirement um, or the understanding that the work can be permitted um, or to proceed because we don't want the site to, to get degraded. And uh, with the understanding that, in fact, you will proceed with your, the hearing on the request for determination on August 22nd. Does that sound like a reasonable plan? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. 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 You, you did. You did. Um, could I just ask a question? You can. So sure. we did. Um, I did bring everything. Sheila helped. Yeah. Yes. My husband and I filled yeah. the paperwork we out uh, because I wanted to do it correctly. Uh -huh. So I did um, give the applications and the 11 by 17s. I mailed the application to Megan. Um, so I guess, and I do have the invitations here. Um, the invitations. I, well. The public notice yeah. that I'll mail out next week okay. for the abutters. All right. Sure. So um, I guess my question is, is um, if we do continue to do the work and go forward and take any precautions that we need to do, mm -hmm. what happens if we come on the 22nd and the, um, so and the butter has an issue? Uh, we'll deal with it at that time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what okay. happens if, so, I don't know, but then is there I, a... I can't, we're not real good at predicting the future. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I will tell you that, um, you know, again, the, the uh, sole fence was in place. It was, you know, well stabilized. You know, Tom and I have peeked behind your backyard, and there's no question there's a well in there, you know. But um, I think given, a, based on what I've seen, um, I mean, I think you'll be okay. Okay. So, you know, and I think as I tried to explain to you, and and, and just so you know, uh, we looked at the affidavit, and I think the affidavit can be improved. Mm. You know, so uh, we're going to be working on that. That's not an issue that that affects you. It affected you, but it won't affect you in the future. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I think based on what I've seen, I think you're you'll be okay. okay. That's just speaking solely for myself. Okay. 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 All right. So is there a motion to issue an enforcement order? Okay. Come on, give it a try. Go. I make mm -hmm. it. Go. Okay. Me? Sure. I haven't looked I'll at second this. second it. Okay, go. Uh, I move that we uh, uh, do issue, issue an enforcement order for 11 Bridal Path. Okay, allowing for the allowing. work to continue okay. to avoid um, um, uh, Any degradation more. of the site. Mm -hmm. With the understanding that a hearing on the requested determination will be held on August 22nd. Yeah, it's a go. Uh, is that your motion? I, that That's is my motion. motion. Okay. Nice. What was the yes. word you used? So that any the, more degradation of the so site. So the site will not become uh, degraded. Right, right. Then degraded. after that. Degraded. So after that? After that, you said there was a word that you used about the RDA being filed, pending the RDA being Being filed. heard right. um, okay. on August 22nd. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's already been filed. The public hearing has gone into the newspaper. Okay, so is there a second? I'll second that. All right, is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 
post a vote. Cool. All right. There we go. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. 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 I have to get me all those out next week. I'll be all okay, great. The public notices. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Good night. Nice to see you all. Good night, John. Yep. Yeah. Good to see you. I'm not going to be here, but I'm going to have through it. It's good. <laughs> Once in a while, Michelle shows up. Once in a while, you show up. Yeah, I do. I've been there for a while. Because she shows up when she's in the state. Yeah, exactly. As an FYI, the neighbor at number nine, I believe, is going to be doing a seven. Right. Number seven. Number seven. The house next door filed last Monday for an above ground pool permit. Yeah. Take twelve. Not seven. Seven. The one next. Two houses. Yep. Two houses. Because they're eleven. Okay. Got it. Yes, filing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Sheila. Yes. Can you explain to me what um, we're supposed to do with 33 Sword Street? Yes. Um, I guess they're selling 33, and that um, notice of intent was filed for 31 and 33. So they're trying to take 33, like get a partial release on the order of conditions so they can sell that property and clear up the deed on that section of it. But from 1982? 30. Oh, wait a minute, I'm getting mixed up with That's what it says else. right here. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Didn't we already okay. do that? Not, what, 33? Oh, no, that street? was something else. Okay. No, we yeah. just put yeah, 33. Yeah. Pine or Lame, I think. Um, that's Sword Street. You guys okay. went a while ago. Oh, oh, that's, no, that was the, the industrial park. Lot. Yes. In the yeah. back of the parking lot, way down yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 in the yeah. woods there. Yeah. 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 From 1982. Remember when we did that? We, I know we. Was that number 33? Wait a minute. That might. I'm just trying to see. It was from 1982, because I remember thinking I wasn't even graduated from high school. It wasn't it. So maybe it shouldn't be even on the agenda? Okay, this is a new one. This is the other. This is the same thing, 3133, when they're looking to release 33 Sword Street from, are they looking at? All right, let me start over. They're looking for a partial certificate of compliance for 33 Sword Street um, because they're selling that. The work was issued for 31 and 33, the order was issued. Back in 82? No, 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 this was, um, no, that was an old one, I'm sorry, I should have, I, I don't know what I was doing. Okay. So 31 Sword Street is not going to have a certificate of compliance yet. 31 will not, but 33, or, or there'll be a partial release for 33, I guess is the way you do it. Right, as long as 31 is still, 31 be, still, still be on it. And still, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so he, here was the letter one I One of did. them was closer. 30, one of them was kind of like right behind the wetland and the other one was right in the parking lot, kind of mm. off to the yeah. side. It's like 20 or 30 years old, though, remember? Um, no, this was more recent. I think we need to take a look. This was, a, this was the, the this was the letter they had sent. Did, didn't I forward that to everybody? They sent us a monitoring report. Oh. How the wetland was looking. Marty Rise this morning to sell it. June 20th. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just didn't work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, that's what we want. It's a site we want. They started they putting the, the driveway in without filing anything. Right, and right. And we stopped them, and then yep. right, and then they sent us this report about how the wetlands doing. Yeah, it mm -hmm. wasn't doing very well when I looked at it. But it looks like it's. You know, it would be better if they just come here and explain what they want. Yeah. You know, instead of trying to do it by a letter. Yeah. I mean, we can take a look. Um, I'm not inclined to do, take any action on it tonight. Okay. All right, but I think uh, we can go out there and take a look. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, I said to any, uh, anyone that comes in like this with this kind of an issue, they usually just hold back some of the funds and then right. let, let well, it you know, go through. Well, you know, I think if we looked at the site plan, you guys would see what I mean. I feel like 31 kind of took 
can can yes. take responsibility for the wetlands. It's literally right behind it versus yeah. this other yeah. building yeah. that's kind of just stuck I in the parking good. lot. Yeah. Next to this. That's how I remember it. Okay. And then um, Mr. Korbowski actually raised an issue with Sheila, and I don't know why he came up with it. But <clears throat> he looked at our um, our regulation and specifically at filing fees, and oh, yeah. um, which is on page 20, 27 of our regs. And he's he's actually he's totally he's he's right. For uh, minor activities, which would be an accessory use to single family dwellings such as additions, driveways, swimming pools, etc. There's no dollar amount that's listed, and I. I mean, I can't remember why that wasn't done. I have to believe it was um, an unintended omission. I'm thinking, because I'm thinking it would have been 25. I don't think we had a filing for nothing with no fee. Well, that's right. So the question becomes, if, if we charge mm -hmm. or if the fee for a new residential and site work is $100, what should yeah. fee be for something that is um, an accessory use, so not a full blo not a full-blown um, project, but in addition to driveway, swimming pool, and it's, et cetera. So I don't know what tennis courts. If any, yeah, tennis courts. <laughs> um, if anyone has any feelings about that, are there any other comparable fees? Yeah, yeah. yeah. what should be less? Is this the same thing. I think it should be less too. It should be less, but maybe that was revised a little bit differently. I mean, I was okay. thinking. Oh, okay. um, Do you know what it was? I bet what happened. Tell me. Uh, remember Matt redid the schedule there? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly why he changed the format, but here's the old one. It shows $100. Minor activities, accessory use. Is that what it says? Yeah. yeah it's an older one. That's 2016. I had it in well, the folder. Good thing you had that. Can you push that, that down? Yeah, I got it. There you go. So he, when he probably changed the format, it just got... Yeah, I think it got omitted. Eliminated. This or, is from, or it was continued down. This is from... Um, no, it says $100. It says 2016. Yeah. This is 14. So, oh. So I think in that in that sense, mm -hmm. what we need to do is there's nothing for us to change. We just need to uh, correct the typo. Right. Um, so it should, yeah, $100 should be $100. Right. Okay. All right. I'll just mark yeah, that down to, to correct it. Okay. Great. Um, All right. Uh, we didn't act on this. Did anyone want to take a vote or anything? It is on the agenda. But is it for 33 sword? Did you I'm want to just... Oh. I'm not inclined to issue a certificate. No, I'm not saying that, but oh. should we do some type of a vote? Well, no, because it was, listed, it was nothing. listed as other business. Okay. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. So my suggestion would be we just continue it to the next meeting. All right. And in the meantime, we can go out there. Maybe send him a note asking him. I would prefer it if someone actually came in sure. and explained it. A little more justification or show us a site plan or mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me work with something. Oh, all right. All right. And then um and I want the assurances okay. that they still need to take care of. We also um before the last uh, scheduled meeting had taken a, a visit to uh, thirty four Mill Street. Mm -hmm. And, times twice. And so the question was whether or not um, it was within our jurisdiction to do anything or whether we should forward concerns or express our concerns to someone else, right? Yes, please. Okay. So are you thinking maybe a, an email or a letter to Caleb Moody? Yes, please. Okay. Is that your motion? Yes. I would like to forward another letter to Caleb advising him that he needs to go take a look. At, uh, 33 Mill Street. 34. 34 Mill Street. Okay. There's, there's way, there's, I just, I believe that there's way too many vehicles parked on there. Um, yeah. First of all. I mean, I think it may be, it's not maybe a, a concom issue, but it might be a zoning or issue or other issue. It might be a zoning issue. issue. Mm -hmm. But, second of all, I, what I do believe is a concom issue, and I, just because this left, and I looked it up because I, I was new on the board at the time. When we made an older gentleman move three cords of wood out of a buffer zone that came from that exact area because it was stacked in a buffer zone and wasn't going to move it that, that, he wasn't going to use it that season. There is wood that is right in that 
buffer zone of the water is right on the bank. I'm sure of it that the, those, there's just logs that are stacked right in there. Those shouldn't be there. Should we should at least make him move those logs out of that area. They were supposed to have been moved. I thought they that, were moved. I'm telling you, they're just grown in. They're, when you're standing at the bank and you're looking straight across, that is a wetland on that side. Right. That is a wetland on that side because it looks like wetland plants to me on that mm -hmm. side. There are big, huge logs that are just piled up. And the reason you can see them is because grasses and stuff are right. around them. But there's logs on that side. All right. Do you want to... Uh, just give them... An, I'll give them another opportunity to have them move. But there are logs there. Well, should we send them a letter? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. That so well. that's your motion to send yes. Mr. Yes. Uh, Robidoux a letter? Yes, please. Can we send him another letter just saying he needs to move those logs out of the wetland? Okay. They can't be stored there. Okay. Is there, um, I'm not sure there was. I think maybe trees were cut. And they're trees cut. They're, they're not logs. They're, they're tree yeah. like trunks. Yeah, they're sections. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Is there a second? A second. second. How about tree debris? Tree debris is a good way to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there is a second from Tom. Okay. And is there any dis for the discussion? All those in favor? Oh, aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. And then finally, folks, and thank you for your indulgence, um, <laughs> um, Matt Benoit uh, forwarded uh, a copy of a policy from DEP relating to um, photovoltaic systems and solar arrays and their impact on wellness. Uh, Matt uh, was here uh, at our meeting or proposed our last scheduled meeting but wasn't able to come tonight. I've suggested to Matt that he um, he come and, and just make a brief presentation to us. Yeah. And so he may be here on August 22nd but he may not be Michelle. Okay. And if he's not, then we can continue this it. to September. I, you know, I think it's something we certainly need to uh, to consider. But right now, there are no uh, projects submitted to us that involve any solar installation. Okay. Right. Presently. Even though it's passed. This is a We've proposed got two policy. That were approved. This is a proposed 430, policy. 430 uh, Rochdale Street mm -hmm. and 476 to 500 Leicester Street. Two big projects. Did you get approved? No, they've approved. by the planning board. Correct. Yeah. Uh, this is for us. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we are going forward. I don't remember doing that. Okay. Um, it, does okay. anyone have anything else on, or want to talk about? Um, the minutes. Ah, the minutes. Oh, yeah. uh, are we going to vote on the other two? Oh, good point. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. You're welcome. All right. Is there a motion uh, relating to Umar Arastia in the Four Season Room at 44 Riverside Drive? Yes. Okay. So this little corner here does not exist right now. That's uh, it, it is a deck there. Deck right he's going to put a building. He's going to construct that room on top of that. But so he's reinforcing it. So right. It's already there. Yes. Right. Yeah. So how do we make him have a supplements? Uh, because we say so. Yeah. Because there is going to be some disturbance when they put in the um, the, re the the posts that they're going to. Right. Reinforce, so he can, mm -hmm. I think, easily establish a sill fence on the perimeter. Not through an NOI. No, not, not. Have to do no. It. no. no. We've issued uh, uh, NAVE determinations uh, with the condition that they put up a sill fence. Yes. Yep. Yes. So, so anyway, do you want to do that? Did you want me to? She hasn't seen it. Oh, I know. Oh. Sure. I propose that we issue a negative determination. For 44 Riverside, 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 Riverside Drive, provided, provided that they uh, install a silk fence. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, is there any uh, discussion? Uh, how far away with is straw that models fence? Straw yeah. models. How far yeah, away? Straw models. How far away from the existing to be? The deck. Is I would say fence? in between um, the deck where the where the posts are going to be installed and the the water the the, oh, the bank somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah, I mean I think we can um, we can give them that discretion okay. because they need to get a machine in there and so I think 
I would anticipate a fence maybe 10, you know, 10 feet away from the bank. Oh, okay. But so I, I'm, like a steep slope? There is a steep slope. No, 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 it's pretty close. It's pretty level. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Is there, was there a second? It was. Um, Tom did. Oh, Tom. Yes, Tom, Tom did. Okay. Okay. Is there any other discussion? Can we ask them to limit disturbance or any of that? Hmm? Sure. Yeah, you can put limited disturbance. No, I think it's going to be limited with that machine he's using. Well, that's what I was going to say. Water. That's why I asked yeah, how big the machine is. The machine's only three by three by right. two. And he's if they had a regular machine, we're telling them they want to hide the stack of rooms and what have all. Right. So. He's not yeah. close to any other homes. He's, he's down. The way, that, the way that it's laid out, did you pull it up on the map? Yeah, I put it. Wasn't there a picture of it, kind of, that I sent the uh, yeah. RDA? Yeah. The way that it's laid out, it's kind of long, so it comes down the driveway, and the house is kind of over to the side. The way that it comes out, mm -hmm. I was actually kind of surprised. Like, I think that he's being, it seemed like it was further than 21 feet. That it had to have been to the absolute well, closest point. Yeah, maybe it was where the water was before. Did you see that picture? But we have a, no, a 25 foot no disturbance. Yeah, but it's already existing. But it's already Did you existing. Did you get it now? Did we get some there? This is no, just the assessor. Oh, that's the assessor's thing, yeah. You can pull that up on the, on the yeah. Yeah. So, so right here is where it's going. And yeah, that's so just going to So he's going to be on the, the deck. He's not going to be driving right. things around. Right, and he's not extending the footprint. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. And then. That's how it's going to be. Four, Thank is you. that thunder? Yeah. Uh, we'll get this going around. Right. Romanski? Is there a motion? Uh, 690. That's 690 South Bridge Street. Blair. Realty, Realty Trust. Oh, it's going to be a long time. Somebody else needs to do that one. I've done two tonight. I've like exhausted myself. Awesome. <laughs> you go for it. No, no hat tricks for me. No hat tricks. No. Right. No. All right. Good day. I make a motion. <laughs> And we issue a negative determination for um, 693 Selfie Street yep. uh, with the stipulation that they use erosion control measures before doing any digging. And, and, and follow best management practices. That's inclusive. <laughs> Still remember that two years ago at the conference. Okay. Is, is so, there, I'm sorry, can we, this is just for this pipe, that's all they're that's doing? That's correct. Yeah. I'll, se I'll second that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is there any, uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. And who seconded that? I'm sorry. Tom made the motion and who seconded it? I did. Oh, okay. Okay. I did. Actually, I looked at them and I had no changes. Oh, good. Woo! Yeah, I know. That's exciting. Isn't it? Probably it's the oldest I looked at. I was just a lady. Start with one. Here's 11. There we go. Yeah, I was yellow as a guy. Wait, whatever happened to this commission that a monitoring well will be installed due to the gas station? At least that was part of that phase two report. Oh, well. It's Cruise Street. What is it? That's just stuff that interests What is it? Um, he said that he was going to install a monitoring well, as well as to Well, the, we can uh, amend it if you want. No, I'm just curious. He probably already did it. Yeah. You're not really supposed to be putting things in an RDA, right? Right. Okay. Telling them what to do in an RDA if you issue them a negative. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. Is there a motion to right. adjourn? I have Second. one quick I'll adjourn. Suggestion. Okay. Okay. Do we have any kind of a document, like a one page document to somebody, so that if they came to the town and they, and they wanted to know, like, I think there might be some water in the backyard, what do I do? Something that says, like, if you have this, then you need to file an RVA. And if there's no impact, then you will have a negative termination and you'll be told, okay, you know, you get a negative determination as long as you put up an erosion control or something like that. Um, do we have anything what like that? What do you mean, that? like if somebody calls up saying well, if they somebody think came, they have water? They well, no, if somebody came in and, and they wanted to know, like, well, what do I do and what do I need to file? So in other words, yeah. if you have wetlands or, or possibly have wetlands you need to, yeah. to file, and uh, this is an RDA, what it does, this is what a negative, this is what a positive. If you're going to be doing this and you're going to be like right next to the wetland, then you're going to need to file a notice of attack. Yeah. Yeah. Like so yeah, that's what I mean. I'm just curious. I usually I just, just verbally tell them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so because they Sometimes don't always have to double check with him. They don't always look online okay. themselves. So I, verbally I will look online. I, I, will, I will tell you the problem with the 11, uh, 11 Brile Path is that um, the, the contractor, who I think was very contrite actually, um, yeah, said, you know, he wasn't aware of the fact that there were wellings at the back of the property. Yeah. And the affidavit, and, and it, to be honest with you, he, he didn't look down in the back where we went, because if he you did. walked down there, you would have seen it and said, yeah, there's a dry riverbed right here. I mean. And, and the, the problem is that um, the, the affidavit, what they're calling an affidavit, says in effect that he's, he's aware of his responsibilities under the, mm -hmm. the, the Wellings Protection Act or our bylaws. Well, mm -hmm. I think it, um, my sense is that um, that that language needs to be, be strengthened so that there's a, that he actually the applicant actually says what things he's done to confirm the presence of, of wellings or to determine that in fact there are no wellings. And as I told um, the contractor, for example, when I um, when I found out about this from Tom and I got back home on Saturday uh, from my vacation, I just went to the um, the Worcester Registry of Deeds put in a living bridal path and there was an order of conditions for the property. So there are things that can be done without a lot of effort to make that determination. So I think the, and I've talked, I've had some discussions with uh, with Darlene Coyle about this and I think we are going to take some steps to kind of beef up that affidavit. Yeah. So, so this doesn't happen again. The thing that's tough is on the permit that was on the doorway, it's a building permit, burning round pole, and it has all the different departments but it doesn't have conservation. And so my first thought was, oh, oh well, maybe we should have conservation. But then you're going to have 800, 900 building permits a year. That, and we don't need to go through every building permit in time. We just don't. It's crazy. Yeah, the affidavit that was uh, in with the building permit application was actually filed with the Wellington Code Code Department. Yeah. And that that I think is the best way to do it. And also, but what's interesting is that I don't know who prepared the affidavit, but we didn't. I no. Was, no. Was very vague. No, very it was vague. just it was in with the packets. I'm mm. like, what's this? Yeah. And I thought I was going to have to sign off on it. <laughs> and they're, wait yeah, a minute, no. wait a minute. I don't want to be responsible yeah, yeah. for this. Right. But then they said, no, the applicant has. So I said, oh, okay. Right, is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion right. to adjourn. I second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you.